Week 24 traders, AG has moving average support, trading above the pivot point, trading above the 200 day moving exponential moving average. And I noticed buyers stepped in huge at the end of the day on Friday. But it dropped almost 10%, Joe. Obviously it's falling, is it? Let's first take a look at the volume. Here's a volume on Friday for AG, almost quadrupled. I noticed at noon when I went for lunch that the volume was filled. I remember writing my cousins, my friend, Frank, Keith, everyone, the volume's almost filled. I'm expecting a turnaround. Dad, once again, oh, it's never going to go up. Okay, Dad, you're right again. Didn't happen on Friday. BFD. Happy Father's Day. But I noticed that it hit the 20 day exponential moving average, and after the volume was filled, at noon, then the volume started going haywire crazy, almost quadrupled while the value of AG just went sideways. Why? The professionals enjoy hiding their trades and buying eh, 40 shares for every 100 sold. So every time all these people were scared getting out of their trades, the professionals just started picking up shares. Didn't screw with the price. Wanted to make sure it came down a little bit further so they can get a better deal on it. It's one of their tricks they're going to do to us all the time. It's how they become filthy rich and we stay where we are. Not this time. Not this time. If, if uh, the volume was filled by noon and those were all sellers, I would have expected to see the price drop further. No big deal. Let's take a look at the chart. AG's daily chart since March, where I believe that the rally started. We got hit number five right there, then number six, the breakout, the retest of the upper resistance trend line. I see moving average support then for the past couple months, just bouncing off the 20 EMA, getting on top of the 200. In May, traded above the pivot point, showing strength. Now here in June, we bounced off the pivot point, still trading above the 200 day moving average. And then that last candlestick where uh, they sold off a little bit, came down, tagged the 20 EMA, and you can see that the candlestick bounced off the 20 EMA. The buyers started stepping in in the afternoon on Friday. There's nothing to be scared about. If the stochastics stay here in the overbought area, they're just gonna go sideways and we know what that means. It means there are nothing but buyers. When I'm looking at this chart, I see nothing but strength. I see a possibility of the stochastics becoming embedded in the overbought area, which means we got a runner. This thing's going to go vertical. I see the MACD indicator above the divergence line. I see relative strength above 50 and just going sideways right here at the present time, but I believe that's going to shoot back up. And I know the positive volume indicator showing there is positive volume coming into AG. Why? because they are buying, they've been buying since March. This is nothing more than a waiting game right now. And if you've got something better you think you've got where you're gonna double your money and you've got it all set, then go for it. I don't believe a damn word you're gonna tell me though. There is nowhere else I wanna be than in this trade. And I am, for my money, my point of view, I know what I'm going to do. I'm a hundred percent, zero expletive doubts on this, and I am damn sure that when this is over, I know it's all going to be worth it for me, and I hope you follow me. And then, Dad, happy Father's Day, but I'm going to be telling you, you're wrong, buddy. You're wrong this time, and I hope to God you still change your mind and get in this. It'd mean a lot to me. Oh, we're almost there, man. A little bit more patience. It is nothing more than a waiting game. And take a look for yourself. It's, it's headed there. This is coming true. And it is in the process, especially with that moving average support. Buyers stepped in on Friday. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of a sell-off maybe even come down another 50 cents to tag that uh, seven dollars and four pivot point and then in the afternoon on monday you see all these buyers step back in 
to have a huge reversal candlestick. It's going to try and scare you. But if that happens, oh, it's about to get exciting. DO daily chart. Sure looks to me like we got a support trend line. Sure looks to me that buyers keep stepping in every time we go down and tag that. Sure looks like a rally to me. Do you believe that the value of DO is going to bounce off that support trend line once again? I do. U.S. dollar since December 2016. The market is going to try to trick us as many times as it possibly can. And I see in November 2017, while it was overbought, the high was 94.86. I don't care if we come within one cent of that or if we hit 94.86 and close there once again. As long as it doesn't close above that 94.86, don't be fooled. No emotion. I've been talking about the waterfall selling for a, a while, a long time right now. Unlike Jim Cramer and a Fibonacci queen who said it was going to rally back in May of 2017. Uh, right. Guys, I see this coming together. Let's take a look at one more chart. Just want to wish uh, everyone happy Father's Day. If you fall in that category, expect silver to rally. I know I do. And I'm damn sure it's coming.